Now we're going to do the clinical work of the face. Let's get these probes first. Proceed from 4.53.2.0.1.5 in this order. Then take a look at the face here. Outline bone. Taking a text is generally not recommended. Then there is the one in front of the ear. You can find it within a finger width. Not within a finger width of the mouth. Not within a finger width of the nose. Periocular ones. From the brow bone and the orbital bone. Outside of the area to fight. You can find inside. It would be an eyeball. And then the forehead. From above the brow bone to the hairline. You can take a taxi here. The other parts can be played. You can hit the tape lock. You can hit the jaw here. And under the neck. If the client is a little fatter, we suggest using Sudian Ling. If it's too thin, we recommend Sudian Ling. If I hit it here, it's on this side. We have to stagger this Adam's apple. We now attach the probes that need to be operated. Light up bull after identification. Then interface. We set up some clinical parameters. He has some advice here. We'll just go with the suggested one. If you can light, you must go from low to high. After we set the power, we click here. Look at the interface again. Look at the face again. Before operation, we're going to give the face a clean. I usually use that face top. I'll let the patient use a facial cleanser first. Go wash your face. Then wipe the water off it. When to operate, I'm going to use this gel. Mainly used to conduct and increase the slide of this bro. When the gel is applied. After painting, the side of the perm should touch the skin. We're going to work from the bottom up. With the lift. Hand lift. The probe then touches the skin. Just lift it up a little bit. Operate in this way. So he can achieve that lifting effect. After this operation, the effect is more obvious. And then you have to pay attention when you operate. That perm must touch the skin closely. Don't lean like this. Once you're tight, you're ready to start. When fighting, there's an audible warning. The sound goes from one to the next. If the sound doesn't stop, let's not pick it up. You can pick it up when you stop, move to the next section. The output area of the point is output inside these two bars right here. Not beyond the bar. There's no energy beyond the bar. We can locate it by these two bars. To know the extent of an area he is hitting, go like this. Make sure you stagger this bone when you hit it. Don't hit it directly on the bone. You can stagger it up a little bit. So it doesn't hit the bone. We're gonna do it in the order of the face. Hit up. Foreign customer cheeks. Probably a lot wider than this side of the country. You know, the cheeks may grow or grow a lot. After we finish here. You can do it again further back here. Studio one here to operate. The cheeks and the neck. The area around the eyes. Choose RD Ling or E D Wu to play.
and walk throughout the eggs. We back in the process of replacing the probe. After Sudian Wu, the chick can also be manipulated again with Sundian. You can do it again with Sundian. They're too deep. It's not gonna crash into each other, so don't be afraid on the client side. Each probe can only be fired twice at most. Don't call more than three times. And then the forehead, we can replace. Sunday or early perm to hit. Any of the following can be used. How do you show the forehead? Either 3.0 or 2.0.5 will work. In all forehead area actually. And then when you operate, and you're going to put this gel on it. And then when you operate, this is how we stack our brow bones. Hey up. Stop at the hairline. Just look at the size of the forehead area. How many runs? When we're done, we'll fight vertically. It's tapped vertically. Inside out, hit like this. Grid line. This part can't be played. This part is the temple. You can hit the temple. Crows fit around the eyes. You can you can be selected. Are they just hit it along this side? If you want Terra to work with one technique, again, it goes up slightly. And then you fight like this. Don't get too close to our eyes. To operate outside the orbital ball. That's how you ban it. Like this little pockets under your eyes. It can be operated with R.D. and E.D. This small area is skin is thin and very sensitive. Use R.D. and E.D. worse. It wouldn't hurt as much in a fight. This is how the face works. Then the body works. We have to use it. I'm using hands above building. You can use less than the Wu Shui's. Otherwise, it won't work. Manipulate the body, we'll just swap this hands out for him. Select Judy Ling to start. We are now manipulating body parts. Judy Ling Operation Belly. He suggested 158 and then set the energy and then he start Abdominal operation just hit it in a great shape Pull it in from the side like this you can hit the belly button. Let's demonstrate. Hit it from the bottom up. Remember to apply gel. Bone cannot be broken. This is the arch bone. Apple can play. And the same thing happens here. After the 
fact, is called induction. It's almost the same way. Make sure you stagger the plugs. Let's look at these two lines. Its positioning will do. And then this side goes from the other side in like this. That's how you bend it. The abdomen can be over. Now we operate the get head. This handle works. We need to set its frequency. It depends on the technique the client uses to adjust its speed. You can do it faster if you're more skilled. To select the operation area, currently operating at a depth of 45. Don't turn the RF power up too high. This is gonna be hot. We'll start to run the CRT gear. Until the customer feedback feeling is a little hot. Always hot. Don't let it get hot. Don't turn the energy up too high. Otherwise the client might not be able to adapt. After setting up. Let's just point right here. When this handle works, need to match the foot switch. All you have to do is step on it. One more step and it stops. Facial manipulation. You also need to apply it to the top. Handle against the skin. Make sure the handle is close to your skin. Then I put my foot down. With a fast moving maneuver. Because we set the frequency to 5 Hz. So go faster. We go in circles. And then the other hand, it works with Taylor's ammo that way. Do not suspend the probe. Make sure it's close to your skin. Tell him not to pick it up during the process. It's not about sticking to the skin and manipulating it. If you pick it up, he will miss track outside the epidermal burn. Radio frequency might, too. One more step. I can just take the handle off. After 4.5, do the same with 3.0. Re-operation 1.5. Forehead. We recommend deep operations for 3.0 and 1.5. Including the area around the eyes. After doing this once, we're done with the face head. And then we can use our pitcher to manipulate body parts. Be sure to press the buttons on both sides when installing. Plug back in. The blue light indicates that the pro has been identified. Operating abdomen. Just select the abdominal area. The number of posts is automatically recommended. The abdominal area is relatively large. It can be faster in frequency. Then set the RF energy and this hype energy. Activate. Abdominal operation. The man in charge of the gun, he's just not in that order. We just go in circles. The manipulation of lifting can be done. Always remember to apply the gel first. Back step step the handle against the skin. With the manipulation of the circle operation,
Then pick it up. Let's just put a foot on it. Then pick it up and hold it tight. And then one more step. It just works. After operation, let's try to gel with a paper towel. Just wipe it off. The gel on the probe, abdominal area. In contact with the gel, you wipe it down with a towel or paper towel. It'll be over. After the probe is wiped, it's best to use a medical alcohol to sterilize it again. Just wipe the surface. After the hateful operation is complete, don't wash your face that day. Add bedding in hot water, 